Installing ADIX Sensor and App ADIX application is available on the Apple Store for iPhone and Google Play for Android devices. The application is also compatible with smartwatches. Step 1. Search in the App Store using the term ADIX MG by DL. This is the application version compatible with the glucose monitoring unit used in most Arabic-speaking countries. The application is also available with minimal per liter, which is used in countries like the United Kingdom, Canada, and others. Choose ADEX MG by DL. If you are using the application for the first time, you will need to create an account Make sure you have an active email address to use. Enter your email address. Choose a password. It is a must to be at least eight characters long, including at least one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, and one number. Re-enter the same password. Check the box to agree to the terms of use and privacy policy. It is advisable to examine them thoroughly before giving your consent. Finally, click the send verification code to your email address, and this should be completed within 60 seconds. Check your email. You should have received a message titled ADIX Verification Code. Enter the code in the app and click continue. Presently, the app will return to the login page. Enter your password and click continue. The app will request permission to use the Bluetooth. If it is not already enabled, you will need to activate it from your mobile settings. Since the application heavily relies on Bluetooth functionality, tap Continue. The app will ask for permission to send notifications. Assuredly, choose Allow. In pursuit of receiving alerts for high or low blood sugar levels based on predefined settings, ensure that the application is allowed to function in Do Not Disturb mode. To enable it, access your mobile settings. Select Focus, Do Not Disturb, Apps, and add the ADIX app to the list of allowed apps. Tap Continue. A confirmation message will appear, reminding us to pay attention to symptoms of high or low blood sugar. If at any given time, the app's readings do not align with these symptoms. It's advisable to check your blood glucose using a home testing kit. Next, you'll encounter a screen providing information about the arrows displayed in proximity to the app's readings. App's indication colors will be explained in a separate video. The app will allow us to set the upper and lower limits of blood sugar levels. You can adjust these settings from here or leave them as is for now. The last step is to pair the transmitter device. Before proceeding, make sure the sensor is already attached to your body. Pairing won't be successful unless the transmitter is already connected to the sensor. Click Skip for the interim. A screen will display the recommended sensor placement area which is explained in more detail in a separate video. Tap Continue. And now we've finished the installation on your mobile device. Additionally, you can also install it on your smartwatch. If you've forgotten your password, tap on Forgot Password. In this scenario, you will be required to utilize the email address that you originally used to create your account. Make sure it's the same email address and refrain from creating a new account to ensure you can retrieve your historical data if necessary.
at a later time. Choose your new password. As mentioned earlier, the password must be at least eight characters long. Note, if the app detects that the new password matches the old one, it will reject it. Enter the new password again. Tap Send Verification Code. Retrieve the verification code from your email and input it into the designated field in the ADIX app. You will notice that there is no checkbox for terms and conditions, as was the case when creating a new account. Note, ADIX allows you to open the app on only one mobile device at a time. If you log in on one device while the app is open on another device, it will automatically log out from the second device for security reasons. This video serves to provide insights into the functionality of the ADIX Continuous Glucose Monitoring System. It is essential not to disregard any signs or symptoms associated with high or low glucose levels. In the event that your glucose alerts and sensor glucose readings do not align with your expected symptoms, it is strongly recommended to verify your glucose levels using a standard blood glucose meter. Consult with your healthcare provider for guidance on diabetes management and treatment. Diabetes Cloud. Live with freedom.